Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. So today the gins that we're tasting are from Brighton Gin. As the name would suggest, Brighton Gin is made in Brighton and was born for a passion of gin and the place they live and play. They wanted to create a gin that embodies the spirit of Brighton, unusual, playful and fiercely independent. It was started back in 2013 with months of experimentation using different recipe combinations and distilling techniques and more than one or two accidents allegedly. I'd like to hear about those. <laughs> The gin is gluten-free and they're also certified 100% vegan, which includes the wax bottle tops and the gum used to stick down the labels. True to their founding principles, each bottle is carefully filled by hand. They also stick on each label and dip every bottle of wax themselves. No factory production lines here. They also try and keep their carbon footprint down by delivering around Brighton and Hove and their specially adapted gin bike. Ooh. They wanted to create a premium product that could be enjoyed by gin enthusiasts and casual tipplers alike. Brighton Gin gives a nod back to the history of gin at the same time it's thoroughly modern and forward looking. They only use certified 100% organic pure wheat spirits, which is distilled with juniper, fresh orange and lime peel, locally grown coriander seed, and milk thistle, which is indigenous to South Downs and renowned for its kindness to liver function. So we're going to try the Brighton Gin 40% ABV Pavilion Strength alongside Brighton Gin Seaside Navy Strength at 57% ABV. Both gins are recommended neat over ice with a slice of orange or in a classic G&T with a premium tonic and slice of orange. So let's get these open. Excellent. Okay. I love these wax topped gins. There we go. Thank you. Do you want some ice in this? Yes, please, Oscar. <laughs> At least I get a job to do. While he's doing that, I'm going to open up the other one. In all four glasses, is it? Yes, please. So, for trying, we're going to use a single measure. Would you like to put a little bit of orange I in there? I shall indeed, while you fill up the other ones. There we go. I was going to do a second one then. Okay, right. <laughs> that, would, that would have been a mistake. <laughs> I said, God, they're identical. Right, so. Hold on. Just want to squeeze the orange in there a bit. There you go. Okay, right. So, we're doing the first one. So, this is the pavilion strength. Cheers. Whew. <laughs> it seems really strong to me. Yeah. Wow. That's, then that's that's only forty percent that one, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's, it's zesty. It's it's a lot of lot of juniper. It's quite it's quite it's quite spicy. I, I get a warmth to it. God, that, that really seems very strong. <laughs> right. Let's let me try. I want to try the other one. Right, okay, so we're moving on. I'm going to try and compare these straight away. To the Navy Seaside Strength. <laughs> Good luck. Cheers. Already I'm getting the hit of alcohol. Wow. I actually prefer this one to that one. So do I. <clears throat> it seems, to me, it seems smoother. 
it actually it, it it's comes al across it's a lot almost, smoother. It's almost like the the extra alcohol balances out the kind of botanicals a bit. God, more. it's really zesty. Mm. Yeah. Oh. It is it is very kind of limey, you know, kind of when you get the the pith of the lime just underneath the the zest. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's really, really interesting. Um, it's got the same recipe. It's amazing just what an ABV can do. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely, I definitely prefer the uh, the stronger one. I mean, it's smooth. It's really smooth. Yeah. There's, there's a definite warmth to it, though. A real, real warmth to it. Um, but yeah, it's it's juniper. It's kind of zesty, um, subtle flavors. It's not kind of nothing's jumping out at me. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's, it's citrusy. It's, it's zesty, mm. but it's not. I'm not. I'm not getting. It's real. Yeah, everything seems to be in, in the background. Maybe it's because we don't often sit with. Our gins over ice. Mm. We don't have them on the rocks. We we you know tend to light them with a mixer. Um, well, let's see what it tastes like with the tonic in it. Okay, right. So Should let's open get it to up. It. Let's do it. So what they recommend is a premium tonic, and they recommend you know this is a two hundred bottles. They recommend half of this. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's go for it. Okay, so let's get trying these. This one first. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so smooth. That's so smooth. Now, this is the pavilion strength. So this is the one that you didn't like that, no. that much over ice. Wow. That is lovely. That's really Completely nice. Completely different. So completely different. Real subtle flavour. All of yeah. all every every flavour in there seems subtle. Uh, I mean it's it's more it, it's more rounded for me mm. now it's got a tonic in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's really nice. It's so smooth. So smooth. Uh, it's still a little bit zesty in mm. there, but it's not overpowering. A little it's... bit herby. A little bit herby in there. Nice subtle flavours. Still juniper led. Wow, nice. That's really yeah. nice. That's really nice. Okay. Right, right so that's, that's the pavilion strength. So right. now we're going on to the, the bad boy. Which is the one I liked neat. Yeah, right. Cheers. Cheers. We can, it smells stronger. Wow. I think it's smoother again. Mm. I actually do think that is smoother than, you than that one. You can definitely tell that it's a lot stronger. The juniper is more oily. It's more piney. Um, the juniper coats the mouth. The kind of it's yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the coating. Yeah, definitely feeling the coating in there. Um, I think that the, the flavors are a, a little bit more forward on that compared to this one. They're more your. This is a punchy gin. Mm. This this is more you. This is more. I, I know your taste. This this is more. I'm I'm, I'm getting a, a, a tingle, a zestiness, yeah. definite. The, the pineiness of the, yeah. the juniper. It's a lot, lot stronger in this. Well, it can be because obviously the ABV is a lot stronger as well. This is really, really nice. Mm. Oh yeah. Well done. They've got, right. the, they've got the same recipe. Um, I definitely prefer that one. I mean, this is lovely. Okay, this is this is zesty. It's this seems more zesty to me. Subtle flavors in that one. Um, they're so different. They're so different, which I was surprised at. I thought they'd be very, very similar, but they're not. The you know the the extra ABV in this has, has meant that the juniper is a lot more punchy. Um, it's a lot more oily in the mouth. There seems a lot more going on in this one and the yeah. aftertaste. Whereas a this this more. is a lot more subtle. 
and you could drink that <laughs> all day long. Mm. Uh, it really could. Wow, it's, that's so refreshing. This is... Yeah, that's so refreshing there. Um, this one's a lot more London dry. Sophisticated, we'll say. Do you know the weird thing is, I'd go, this is my daytime gin and tonic. This is my kind of daytime gin and tonic. Mm. And this is my evening. I'm not mm. gonna disagree with that at all. Definitely for me, I prefer it with tonic. Yeah. Oh and yeah, one hundred. If we had it neat, I prefer the stronger one as opposed to the uh, the the forty percent. Now the ice has melted a bit. Let's give it a try. I'll give it another go. But... It's still not for me that one. Not like that. I just think the botanicals are lifted the moment tonics with it. They're, they're, I should imagine they'd be quite nice because they're still quite smooth um, over ice with a bit of orange. Um, for me, tonic. Oh. For me, yep. tonic. For me, tonic as well. But obviously, um, you you can do what you like. You know, it's been a weird <clears> one because we weren't going to. We were thinking of doing these separately, and then I thought, oh no, let's let's do them together. Let's compare them together. It has been a bit chaotic doing it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Going here, there, and everywhere. But I'm glad. I think we, it was worth it. I'm glad we tried right. them side but by it, side. Yeah. Um, and I, I like the fact the fact that they're ethical as well. It's just they seem they seem good people in like researching this as well. They just seem really really good people. Um, and as you know, I always like to support small distillers. We do indeed, yeah, we are, do there indeed. There are lots of companies out there that you think are small distillers that are definitely not. They're owned by big conglomerates. Um, they act to be and pretend to be um, small distillers and they're most definitely not. Which is um, quite disappointing. It is, it is. Because you, you don't mind paying a little bit more for, for, for a gin if it's going to a really, you know, really good company, family run or you know, started out as, a, as an idea with a couple of guys and they've progressed into, into what they are now. The good thing is about these guys, uh, they also produce a Pride Gin each year um, and the profits go to uh, Brighton Pride, um, which is really, really good as well. I mean, we like Brighton, we like going down there when, when we can. Um, it's not far from us in London, as uh, you get lots of Londoners down in Brighton. Um, we have a, quite a few friends down in Brighton. We do, indeed. Um, <clears throat> I think this makes up for the Pebble Beach. It does. <laughs> okay. It should, it should. So it Pebble does. Beach, in case you don't know, it's a Pebble Beach in Brighton, no sand, right? And this definitely makes up for it because um, it's really hard to walk on, <laughs> Pebble Beach. I, I would say Brighton, you've got something really to be proud of. Um, they're great gins, mm. both really great gins. Both very different, but both great gins. Right, how are we gonna score this then? Score that one first. Yes. Then this one. Yeah, we'll go for that one first. <laughs> okay. Here it goes. Okay. Right. We're going this one first. Yep. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> the reason being for me, and I'll say it straight away, I wanted, I wanted some more in your face flavor yeah some more you know some more botanic uh, 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 juniper lead right in there overpowering right. i like overpowering the reasons you scored it lower is the reasons why i scored it higher so i liked the subtle kind of junipers in it i like the the overall feel of it for me it just felt right yeah no, it, it's a great gin it's nice and i i like <clears throat> i like my gnts um, many different ways, but I like, you know, this This for me is perfect. I, I really, really like this. For me, it's a nice kind of daytime drink, um, a daytime GNT, a summer GNT, which I think it's kind of embodied in a way, thinking about it. This is your summer in Brighton. Oh, yeah. This one is your winter in Brighton. This is oh, your more you warming, like that. warming feel. You're kind of, you need that little bit of warmth and that little bit of kind of extra oomph when you're by the sea and it's cold. But yeah, uh, yeah. You, right, so this one. Pavilion strength gets a nine from me. Wow, that's very good. 
Okay. Right, come on, let's do let's this one. Let's do this one. Right, are you ready? Hold on, let me just double check this. Oh yeah. Right, go. <laughs> That's rare. Well, that is really rare. That's really rare from you. Wow. I think it's lovely. I think I think it's really nice. It Why is. did you score that an eight? Do you know did, what? Is it is complete reverse? Yeah, you, because, you, because you, this <clears throat> this to me is a nine. A, no, a nine for me is a great score. Um, this this is really good. This one's a little bit too full on for me. It's a little bit too too juniper. -y. It's a it's just a little bit too much in your face. Um, like me. Like you, yeah, <laughs> exactly like you. Full bodied, like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love it. It's, it's an eight, an eight is a good score from me. An eight is a really good score from me. Um, a 10 from him is <laughs> rare, <clears throat> is really rare. So um, yeah, all I'll say is both of these will stay on our drink shelves, not these ones, new ones that we buy. Um, I'm glad I'm glad we got them. Really, Absolutely, really I can't wait to try the other ones, the Pride range. Right. It's the same gin, it's just um, with the Pride label on. Oh, right. Yeah, but that's, well, that's fine. There you go. We will st we're still <laughs> do that is anyway. It the, is it the 40%? It's the 40%. Right. It's the 40%. We actually do have one from last year in our collection that we haven't opened, that I've been keeping as a souvenir one. There you go. So there you go. So um, Brighton Gin, well done and um, cheers. You produce some amazing gins. You should be very proud because we absolutely love them. And um, guys, if you've tried it, please pop a comment below in the box. Let us know what you think. Tell us a little bit about you know your experiences with it. If you've tried it neat, what you think about it being neat or with tonic um, and Oscar. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Cheers.